Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to talk about how to install the latest FreeNAS 11.3 onto ESXi 7 um, as a virtual machine and some of the problems that I encounter during this particular setup. Okay, without further ado, let's log in. So. So once you log in, this is the information page about your systems. It tells you the CPU, the memory that you have, the storage, um, and the whole nine yards. The host adapter, I got two of them. And um, let's see, virtual machine, I have none. Uh, storage, I have a whole bunch of drive. Um, the first drive that I in install is the USB um, uh, internal USB uh, drive so I, that's where I installed the um, ESXi onto it um, two SSD one is smaller and one is 250 so I'm gonna uh, have uh, what you can see I have the uh, data store for the ESXi operating system only I don't mix uh, with virtual machine onto that drive um, that's th that's the way I do it. Um, uh, if you do different way, I mean, I first ran into the problem installing the virtual machine on top of the the ESXi operating system, and for some reason, uh, it won't let me boot up the free NAS. So uh, your mileage might vary, but uh, I ran into that problem, so I separate um, the the virtual machine. Uh, onto this SSD drive and the operating system onto a different SSD drive as a data store. So you need to create, first you need to create uh, a new uh, data store. So I give it a name, give it a name like um, virtual machine uh, data. So I'm gonna plan to install a lot of like virtual machines onto this uh, SSD so I call it virtual machine data and you select the disk so um, I think that I have this one the Samsung SSD here click next so you can either use full disk or you can uh, uh, customize uh, the partition uh, how you want it so I use custom so I'm gonna tell probably gonna be 200 gig so to 4A00. There you go. 200 gig. So I got some free space left. Um, if I, later on if I run out of space, I can extend it out a little bit. But other than that, I just use 200 uh, gigabyte out of 250. So some empty space for the um, SSD is always good. So let's click next and verify the information that you want to create uh, VMS has to gig free space yes that's correct so finish so now the new data store uh, has been created so if you click on data store you will see two the one for the operating system only and another one for the virtual machine only um, Next step is I'm going to upload my free NAS ISO onto, um, the, uh, onto the drive. Either you can upload it here or you can upload it here, no problem. But I decided to have it uploaded onto the operating system uh, data store. I've done that. Uh, so as you can see, you can see my free NAS. Um, uh, ISO file is here already so either you can select create directory and hit upload and select the file that you want to upload onto your uh, your system so I have already done that so I don't need to do it again second so now you select virtual machines select create register a virtual machine 
uh, call like a new virtual machine and then uh, give it a name or call it free NAS. Um, okay. And compatibility. So, okay. Guess operating system family. Uh, I think other. And I think it's based on uh, free BSD 64 bit. So, I'm going to select that. Click next. And now you can select the the, the data store the storage for your free NAS. So I'm gonna select VM data next. Uh, I'm gonna give it like 10 uh, CPU virtual CPU. So this is the um, evaluation um, uh, ESXi. Uh, so that's why I can have more than A. If you have a free version, you can only have up to A. Uh, vCPU. Uh, I'm going to like 5, socket 2. Uh, so I'm going to have a limited. So leave it as a default. And memory. Um, since FreeNAS recommended 16 gigabyte of memory uh, as a minimum for. Uh, but you can, you can uh, go through 8 gigabyte, no problem. But uh, so I'm going to give it a 20 gig. Uh, I'm going to select reserve all guest memory. So basically I'm going to have it. Um, I don't want to have uh, the ESXi operating system, a host uh, swapping memory from FreeNAS because FreeNAS needs to have that memory in order to uh, function properly. So basically what it tells the uh, system not to fool around with the free NAS uh, memory. Okay, unlimited share on select high uh, memory hot block. I leave it alone. Hard disk. Now I'm gonna give it a 20 gig. Uh, you don't need that uh, 20 gig for free NAS, but. Um, and it create location. You can see free NAS, the different location from the VM data store here. Um, you select it. Okay, there's two options: this provisioning, thin provision, thick provision, lazy zero, and equally zero. So if you select this one, the whole data on this section here will be wiped zero. It takes a while to do it. Uh, but I always prefer to do it this way. Uh, thin provision is that it doesn't um, clear out, doesn't clear out the disk, um, but it's quicker. It's really quick, and then I think that the more you use, um, the, I mean, if you tell it 20 gigabyte and you use it only 10, so it's only 10, but if Thick provision. If you tell it to use 20 gigabyte of hard drive, the whole system 20 gig gonna be reserved for that uh, 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 20 gig. So it will take up 20 gig, right? Doesn't matter if you use only 10 gigabyte. Uh, all right. So that's the difference uh, between the the three here. Uh, between these two, it's a if you use it, it will. Uh, write zero before it copy a new data on it, but it equally zero. As soon as you create this, it will wipe out all zero onto that sector. All right, let's get unlimited. Um, so USB SATA controller. I'm gonna select host device, data store ISO five. I'm gonna select. Uh, the free NAS and I'll connect it to it and I'll leave everything as default uh, next and verify the information that you just created that you just save and then hit finish and now it's created um, go into virtual machine oh uh, it's not created because remember I, uh, we select the uh, thick provision uh, so it takes a while to 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 
to bring that this up because uh, what it does is it's zero out all the portion of 20 gigabyte so it takes a while to do it but since it's SSD uh, I think it's, it's, it's faster than hard drive anyway um, so uh, why we waiting I can talk about how we uh, uh, passing uh, like enable pass through some of the hardware to FreeNAS for instance the adapter network adapter uh, uh, for FreeNAS and the uh, drive controller so see this is the drive controller that I have the four port SATA storage controller that I have it on uh, uh, these three these three devices like one terabyte disk and this I got another controller card which control this SSD this SSD and the two terabyte drive all together so since I haven't done anything to these uh, disks yet I don't know if I can pass um, enable pass through the controller with these discs including the SSD uh, operating system data store so I don't know if I can do that uh, I'm not sure if you know how to or if you uh, know have the knowledge of, of uh, uh, enable pass through the controller which has the, the hard drive which has the data store for the ESXi I don't know if it's recommended but worst case scenario I would probably buy another controller cart and give it to FreeNAS to to uh, to, to to control the disk uh, rather than um, you know uh, from the ESXi so but these disks these uh, three discs one terabyte is on this controller so I can safely pass this controller enable pass through this controller to the free NAS system so let's do that and uh, I don't know if I can do that but let's go to host and manage Dizzy hardware so because that's the four port SATA controller unit over here so you select it and you toggle pass through so it say fail I think this is the bug or something I'm not sure but if you did hit the miss and you refresh the page it will tell you enable need reboot so I'm gonna reboot later on uh, maybe I can do it but okay let's move on to the networking card so I got two networking cards that one is using currently with the ESXi to create a virtual switch I, I, so that's why I have another free one that I can pass uh, enable pass through to FreeNAS so let's go back to manage hardware so the thing is that okay this one and and this one so you don't know which one uh, uh, to enable pass through so you can go back here uh, to find out the PCI address so this is the one that currently using uh, with the ESXi so you can see the PCI address here go back here and that is this one right so this one is currently been used so I'm gonna enable this one to pass through uh, okay talk about pass through the 16 okay okay
Okay, so it's active right now. So I don't know, this one needs uh, a reboot in order to be enabled. Uh, success of fully talk or pass through for device. Uh, okay, so that's good. All right, I'm done with those two. Now, so I'll go to action, uh, reboot host, host, action, reboot. So the host is rebooting right now. I'm going to cut it, uh, the video until it uh, boots up again. Uh, you will see. All right, see you in a minute. Okay, now we're back. Uh, let's log in. And I'm going to go back to the, uh, the hardware list. So it tell me it's active right now. And the Intel adapter network card is active right now. So let's go back to the virtual machine and edit that uh, action. Edit setting. And I'm going to ask hard disk. Or as auto hard drive. Um, okay, as auto drive. PCR device. So that's the 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 pass through device that here that you gotta add. So that's the networker save. And okay, I didn't do the other thing. So so add auto device. PCR device, and that's the the uh, hard disk controller unit. Uh, so I did. I remove the network adapter here. I remove the SATA controller here. Uh, it's still attached to this controller. Okay, okay. Leave it as that because I got a, uh, a CD drive in there. Okay, so it's good. Save it. All right, now we can start the machine. Power, power on. Yep. Now the installation might take a while to, to, to do, but it's very straightforward. Um, so I'm just gonna fast forward this installation process and come back later on with um, um, Okay. I have a couple of discs here, you remember? the virtual machine that we created for 20 gig for the uh, free NAS. So I'm going to select, that's where I'm going to install free NAS onto. And these three discs, remember that we have the uh, one terabyte, three discs of one terabyte onto separate uh, controller. So it's all here. So which is good. Now select OK. Erase all partition, yes. Confirm password. I'm just gonna select boot via BIOS. The reason that I choose ESXi's at my virtualization server is because of its capability to do the Linux virtual machine quite nicely. I've used window in a pass um, to virtualize Ubuntu but I gotta say it is very very sluggish uh, doesn't matter what I do it's just slow it just you know I cannot stand it um, but basically the Microsoft hypervisor hyper V doesn't work uh, well with Linux in general anyways so also beside the ESXi can do Mac OS, which is unheard of from Microsoft Hyper-V. Secondly, um, I thought about installation of the FreeNAS operating system uh, as a host um, and use its VM capability to virtualize uh, 
Windows and Linux systems. Uh, but from what I know, from what I search online, it doesn't work quite well either. So I'm stuck with this. And I've heard a lot of good things about ESXi's as a host operating system for other uh, virtual machines and including FreeNAS. So this is the video about installation of VNAS, uh, the FreeNAS <laughs> uh, onto the ESXi. You come back with this uh, uh, page because I have a PFSend assigned a static IP address to the network card. So every time I install this one onto the, the network card, I got the exactly same address. So I go back to FreeNAS. There you go, because it's um, 11.25. Save it as root, log in. There you go. The installation of FreeNAS onto ESXi uh, 7 has been completed. Um, I got 10 thread with 20 gig Goodbye of memory and the interface uh, uh, all right and go into my storage I don't have a pool yet I'm gonna set up soon as you can see the three disks that I have onto the uh, the disk controller four port disk controller and another See what I, I jail plug in. See the free NAS has a lot of plugins that I wish to use in Nextcloud, Flex Media Server, Sonar, uh, Radar. A lot of things that I, I want to use, but since it's a plugin, any update to free NAS might break one of these plug in and you don't want to go and then fix it you know so that's the reason why as I said better have the ESXi as a host and FreeNAS as a virtual machine and you pass all the hardware list like Nick Carr, um your hard drive controller to FreeNAS for for it to, to control it's better that way and you can put together a, a storage pool uh, for what, whatever you need, right? I think this is the best scenario for everyone uh, to, 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 to use because, uh, as I said, free ESXi can virtualize uh, Linux, and Windows, uh, without a hiccup. If you use Windows Hyper-V, it's... It's very slow with Linux virtualization, and you cannot even use it. It's just so terrible. This is my uh, first video uh, about virtual machines, computers. Uh, I've been into it for quite some time, but I never had the chance to do some videos. And I'll be happy to make some other videos uh, uh, about FreeNAS, ESXi, uh, there's a lot of um, topics to 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 uh, rec uh, to cover here. Um, hopefully that uh, I learned something along the way with you. Uh, if I run into the problem, I always let people know uh, how to fix it. Or I spend a lot of time to uh, uh, find a solution, so you don't have to. So uh, please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit that uh, subscribe button and. Um, I'll see you next time. Goodbye and have a good weekend.